Hi there, my name is Kenzie. I'm offering you a restorative yoga practice today uh, from the Everyday Counts program space. And uh, restorative practice is completely supported and relaxation based yoga. So what you'll notice is we do have a few props. I've got two thick bed pillows as well as two blankets folded up. Um, you could have more or less of these things. They don't have to be bed pillows, they could be couch cushions, anything at all that allows you some comfort. Um, I'm also wearing a toque because it's getting a little chilly and this is a practice where we will um, not be creating a lot of heat in the body. We'll be creating a lot of relaxation instead. So extra warmth is always welcome. Let's begin by making ourselves as comfortable as possible. So this could be a reclined, supported, resting pose. I'm gonna use these um, blankets under my head so I can save the pillows for under my knees, but you could switch this up for sure. Uh, so I'm stacking those pillows, and as I lie down, I'm going to bring my legs over the pillows as a nice support here, and then I can adjust how much support I want under my head. Some folks will want none, some folks might just use one blanket or pillow and use the other blanket over the body. And notice my knees might spread apart a little bit, my legs might turn out, my hands might reach out to my sides, palms might face up or rest on the abdomen or chest. So continue to make any adjustments here. And then perhaps close your eyes. And this might allow you to even notice um, more subtlety of sensation. You might notice that they're that you're not quite comfortable and that you will require a little more wiggling around. But eventually you might find a place of stillness, a place of ease and comfort. And you can begin to kind of let gravity have you. Let the support of the floor and these cushions and blankets receive us as if we've built the ground up to meet us wherever we are. As your body begins to settle Let's begin to notice the gentle journey of our own breath. Can we soften our belly and invite the inhale to expand the abdomen gently? The exhale and the abdomen falls slowly. And that inhale is a soft, deep breath in. The exhale, softer and slower breath out. Notice if your mind is wandering, and that's okay. But return to the breath. Feel that soft, deep in breath. And soft or slower out breath. We're asking our busy mind to keep returning to this journey of the breath that is ever present. 
And the more we can focus our awareness and our thoughts on the breath, the more ever-present we will become. And just riding the wave of breath through the present moment. So let's ride the next five or six breaths through the present moment, allowing each exhale to become a little longer than the last one. As we complete those breaths, please know that you can stay in any of these poses for as long as you are comfortable. So if you want to stay where you are, please feel free. If you're ready uh, to bring a little bit of movement to your body before the next pose, um, that's what we'll do next. But if you do not want to move much between poses, you can either skip ahead or just stay where you are until we're moving into the next pose. This, you might wiggle the fingers or toes, you might yawn, you might stretch. We could reach our arms towards the ceiling and, you know, wiggle the fingers again, make fists, spread the fingers wide. We could sort of point and flex the hands, so turn the palms to face up and then away. And notice how that feels. Could begin to make fists and kind of circle the wrists here. It can feel pretty stretchy, so just keeping it comfortable to change direction. You might want to give yourself a hug, a little squeeze, and then switch arms. Give yourself a hug, a little squeeze. Okay, releasing our hands, we can bend our knees, bringing our feet to the tops of those pillows, and then maybe drawing the knees into the belly, a little rock from side to side. Yeah. And now we're going to put the left foot back down on the pillow and maybe even let the leg rest on the pillow as we bring the right knee towards the belly. Let's hold on to the back of the right knee. And using just the weight of the leg to draw the knee towards the belly, let's bend and straighten that right leg a few times. You don't need to get it totally straight. The knee doesn't have to be so close to the belly. In our restorative practice, we're kind of exploring that sensation of openness before stretch. So I know if the hamstrings are quite tight, we might not straighten the leg the whole way. We're just kind of flirting with the sensation of stretch. And the next time the leg is straight-ish, let's point and flex that foot. And then we'll circle from the ankle. So just giving that leg a little upside down time. A little mobility to the ankle and foot as we change direction of the circle. And then we'll bend the knee again. We'll just notice if that knee wants to sweep out to the side a little bit. And then back to center. We'll do that a couple more times. Just kind of letting the weight of the leg, guide the leg to the side, and the rest of the body's nice and quiet. Excellent. 
And so now you could rest that leg down on the mat and or the pillow and just notice how different one leg might feel relative to the other. That little bit of movement enlivening that right leg. And now we can slowly bring the left knee towards the belly and hold on to the back of the knee and just let things settle for a moment. And then we can straighten the leg and bend the leg. And again, that thigh doesn't need to be hugging into the knee too much, especially if there's a lot of stretch to be felt in the back of that leg. And so again, we're just staying in that place before stretch. Openness before stretch. Which is easier said than done with the back of the leg, I know. And so the next time that leg is moving towards straight, but not too stretchy, let's stay there. And we can point and flex the foot a few times. Spreading those toes. And finding our own openness here, our own ease of movement as we circle from the ankle. And changing direction. Great. And again, we're going to bend the knee. And we're going to let the knee fall out to the side a little bit. The rest of the body nice and quiet as we bring it back in. We'll do that a couple more times. Openness before stretch. And we can release that leg onto the pillow and just take a couple breaths here and notice how it feels now that we've brought some movement to the leg. From here, we will be rolling over to one side. So if it's easy, you can kind of walk your feet to the pillow and roll over. And then we just need to get those pillows organized. So I'm pushing into the floor to help bring me upright so that I can bring the pillows um, towards the front here. I'm just gonna push them out of the way slightly, but they're easier to grab. They're in arm's reach. So, you might need one or two pillows here under your head um, as you lie on your side. And I'm gonna show you a few options for this practice or this pose. Um, so we're probably gonna straighten the bottom leg a little bit. And then we're bringing these pillows under the top knee. So it might be one pillow and it might be two pillows. And we're kind of on that bottom hip. So this could be our pose. We're bringing that knee up. We've got a nice little sense of openness here. Um, we could even bring the pillow higher. You could rest your hand on it. Now, if you do want um, a slightly more, I dare not say advanced, but a slightly different pose, depending on what's happening through your breast tissue in terms of rotating through the spine, you're going to notice this. I can place the top hand into the mat, come up, bring the bottom arm behind me, and it's just down by my side, and then I'm more sort of on my chest. Again, a little more openness through the hip here. I might be still turning my head to one side. In fact, I might need a little less support here. So two options here. One where the belly and chest are on the mat. And one where you're on your side. Yeah. And letting those hands do whatever they need to do to support you here. And so as you settle in, you're welcome to close your eyes. Sometimes that helps to discover if you're comfortable making any adjustments, adding warmth, adding comfort. Making any adjustments because your comfort matters most of all. We'll spend a few minutes 
simply acknowledging or surrendering to gravity and by feeling all of the soft support beneath us to help remind us that we can let go, that we are completely supported so there's no need to hold on to any tension. So you might start by noticing where the head is supported. And just allowing your head to get as heavy as possible. Allowing that support. And then bringing that awareness to the shoulder or chest, to the parts of the torso that are feeling that gentle pressure of the floor beneath. And again, imagining you get a little bit heavier, settle just a little bit more. We're noticing the arms, just kind of exploring where the arms feel supported. Can we let go a little bit more, let those arms get really heavy? And then beginning to explore the support the legs are receiving. So you might feel that soft support of the top leg on the pillow. And the support of the bottom leg on the mat. And again, this invitation to let the body be heavy. And to let your whole body soften and settle both legs and feet, the whole torso, both arms and hands, the whole head and neck. As we surrender more fully to the soft support beneath us, we begin to receive the gift of gravity, the feeling of stillness and connection. We're fully connected to the floor, to the earth beneath us, and softly supported, and comfort and ease. And what can keep us here in the present moment is to now catch that wave of breath and begin to ride the wave of breath through this present moment. Allowing that inhale soft and deep. The exhale, softer and slower. And soft, deep inhale. And softer, slower exhale. Let this be enough and to simply be here now, fully supported, riding the wave of breath through the present moment, soft, deep in breath. softer, slower out breath.
And five or six more breaths, just like that. Each exhale a little longer than the last. As you complete those breaths, again, know that you can stay here for as long as you're comfortable. If you are ready to find this shape on the other side, let's wiggle the fingers and toes. Let's yawn, let's stretch, and slowly roll onto your belly. And you might hug the knees into the belly. You might rock the knees from side to side with the feet wide. There might be another movement that calls to you. We are going to move into this pose on the other side. So you might simply roll away from me or you could bring your head to the other side, which I will do. So you might have different needs on this side. You might need more or less support from those blankets and pillows. So being prepared for that possibility. So I'm lying down onto my side and bringing the bottom leg a bit longer than the top as I bring those pillows in to support the top leg. Yeah, so remember there's that option to um, press into the top hand and bring the other arm behind and then You've got um, your chest more on the mat. Yeah, and then maybe with just one pillow. And sometimes straightening that bottom leg and sort of turning the thigh to the front of the thigh to face the floor is another kind of place people want to be. Remembering we talked a little bit about openness before stretch. And that's partly because stretch is a stressor for the nervous system. It's a healthy one, but in this practice, we really want to nourish the nervous system, so choosing to back away from kind of obvious stressors. So again, you might have different needs on this side, but you're continuing to make adjustments for your comfort. Sometimes it helps at this point to close your eyes and again to notice if you're comfortable and continue to adjust. And once you are comfortable, we will again return to that idea of receiving the gift of gravity by noticing where the body feels softly, fully supported, and allowing the body to get a little heavier and surrendering to that soft support. And I know we take gravity for granted, but it is such a gift that does allow us to rest deeply against the earth because we are held. And so we can start with the head and you might feel wherever your head is touching down and kind of acknowledge that support that you can let go through your head and neck. And we'll notice where the arms feel most supported. And just notice if you can let both arms be held, fully letting go. Noticing your bottom hip and that bottom leg fully supported. You might notice that soft support beneath your top leg. And as you feel the whole torso, 
heavy on the mat. Feel both legs and feet. Heavy on the mat. Heavier still because there is support. Soft support. So you can let go. I'm feeling both legs and feet fully supported. And the whole torso fully supported. Both arms and hands. Fully supported. The head and neck. Fully supported. I'm feeling the quiet of your whole body. But also the movement of your breath. That soft, deep in breath. And softer, slower out breath. We will ride this wave of breath through the present moment to keep us here. Receive the gift of gravity here in the present moment, riding that in breath, soft and deep, riding the out breath, softer and slower. And the mind will wander, and that's okay. But come back to that wave of breath that can help keep you here in the present moment, supported by the floor, held by gravity. And the in-breath, soft and deep. The out breath softer and slower. Now let's offer five or six more breaths to this pose. Each exhale a little longer than the last. As you complete those breaths, please know you can stay here for as long as you're comfortable. If you are ready to make your way out of this pose, again, kind of start with the fingers and toes. And then press that top hand into the floor 
to guide you upright. Breathing nice and slow. And again, I will invite some movement before the next pose, but you can always skip ahead or adjust the movement. So before our supported prone pose, which means on your belly or in a child pose, uh, we are gonna move through some cat-cow. I like to invite this into every practice I can because it's such a gift for the spine, for the hips, for the shoulders. So you could be on hands and knees. You could be on forearms. You could even place those pillows under your forearms for more of a tabletop position without any discomfort on your wrists. So just know you've got options here for your comfort. And it might be nice to start with the tailbone and tuck it under as you begin to round the spine. And then leading with the tailbone again as you gently tilt it up, gently arching the spine. Maybe closing your eyes as you continue. And this can be a very small movement. We're looking for that place of openness before stretch. We'll do a few more. And we'll come back to neutral. And since we're so comfortable here on the forearms especially, I think we can keep moving just a little bit more from tabletop. So I'm gonna rock my hips from side to side. And if you're on hands and knees, you can always shake out the hands for us into child pose. We're gonna bring a little movement to the hips here. And then maybe we can circle them back and around a little bit. And then forward and around. We'll change the direction of the circle. And a couple more. Great. So as we come back to neutral, just finding a way for you to watch me here. And if you've done, um, this pose before and know where you want to go with it, please feel free. I do want to give two options, one with a knee bend and one without. So we'll start with the knee bend option. So you'll notice I've stacked my pillows lengthwise on the mat. And I'm going to bring my blankets to the front here where I may or may not need them. So this is a deep knee position. As you can tell, I've sat back on my heels already. I'm taking my knees wide to the edges of the mat. Uh, to the edges of the mat and to either edge of the pillows and then I'm bringing my hands to either side of the pillows and lowering down. Um, so at this point you could turn your head to one side but especially if you have a long torso um, or any discomfort in the neck, a few options. So long torso you still want support or you don't want to feel too much compression of the belly. Here you could lower down and there's a little more space to support the head and then at the halfway point you could turn our head you could bring those pillows a little more in between the legs so that as you lower down, um, there's actually space here for the face. So the face is over the edge of the pillows and then you could support on a blanket with lots of space for your face. So easy breathing here. So that's a great option too. So for those who know this is what they want, go for it, get yourself set up. If you would prefer no knee bend, here's what I'm gonna offer. So from tabletop over the pillows, I'm gonna lower myself onto the pillows. My chin is over the edge here so that I've got lots of space for my face. And then I'm elevating the blankets enough that my head and neck feel comfortable. So if I do need to lower the forehead a bit, I can adjust. If I need to raise it up a little bit, I can adjust. Arms are out to the side. Now one more option here. If we have discomfort in the breast tissue, we could bring the pillows a little more under us and actually bring the breasts right off the edge or close to the edge. And then there's lots of space also there. 
Okay, so make yourself as comfortable as possible here. Perhaps you're already in your ideal position. Press pause if you need to. And then kind of keep playing, especially if this is new to you. Just finding that right height and right level of support. And once you think you're comfortable, close your eyes and that's going to give you a little more feedback and then keep adjusting for comfort. And becoming still. And what you might notice right away here is that there is some compression on your abdomen so that you know, deep belly in breath, soft, slow out breath, it's gonna feel a little different here. This is where we start to create some awareness of our low back and our waist. And as we breathe in, can we expand into the low back and into the waist? And as we exhale, can we soften into those same parts? Inhale as if you're breathing into your kidney into your waist. Exhale, softening through those same parts. And some of us might need to also expand into those lower side ribs. So let's just play with finding that movement of the breath, expanding into the waist, into the low back, and maybe into the side ribs. And that exhale is going to feel really easy. It's waiting to happen. Rolling out simply. We will guide this relaxation just like we did the others. We begin to focus on the gift of gravity. That feeling of support beneath your whole body. Trusting that we will not float away, that in fact we can let go a little bit more with each out breath. Deep in breath in, soft, slow out breath. Fully supported. If you've turned your head in one direction, feel free to slowly lift and turn your head in the other direction. And feeling your whole body supported. Your head is supported. Quiet and heavy. Your arms and hands supported by the floor beneath you. Feeling your whole torso supported. Feeling your breath expanding into your back and waist and lower ribs. 
And that exhale, a gift of gravity as well. Feeling both legs and feet supported. And a quiet stillness of both legs and feet. And the quiet stillness of the whole body, even though we feel the movement of the breath. Soft and deep. Soft and slow. Let's continue to ride the wave of breath through the present moment. We will make an offering of five or six more breaths to this pose. Each exhale a little longer than the last. When you feel ready, you could wiggle the fingers or toes. If you do not feel ready, please feel free to stay in this pose for as long as you're comfortable. There might be a yawn. You might walk your hands under your shoulders and press back into a tabletop position. So we have one more pose. And it is our final relaxation pose. This might look identical to the pose we started with, or there might be some adjustments or changes. You get to choose. If you're feeling chilly, put more clothing on. If that was too much pillow under your knees at the start, use less, vice versa. More or less support under your head or warmth for your body. You're finding your way to this final comfortable pose. Perhaps making your way into comfort, closing your eyes and double checking that you are in fact comfortable and make any adjustments you need to. You might have already sunk right into breath awareness. Soft, deep in breath. 
softer, slower out breath. I will mention different parts of the body and I'm gonna invite you to simply send your awareness there, notice what you notice, and then move on to the next part. So okay, if your mind wanders, just come back to my voice, come back, kind of exploring that breath awareness, part by part. And starting with the right hand thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, elbow, shoulder, right side, waist, hip, knee, ankle, heel, and top of the foot, sole of the foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, and the whole right side. And the whole right side. The left hand thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger back of the hand, palm of the hand, wrist, elbow, shoulder, left side, weight, hip, knee, ankle, heel, top of the foot, sole of the foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. The whole left side the whole left side. The top of the right foot top of the left foot, both together, right shin, 
left shin, both together, front of the right thigh, front of the left thigh, both together. Right side abdomen, left side abdomen, both together. Right side chest, left side chest. both together. The front of the right arm, front of the left arm, both together. Right palm, left palm, both together. Front of the neck, Lower jaw, bottom lip, top lip, both together, right nostril, left nostril, both together. Right cheek, left cheek, both together. Right eye, left eye, both together. Right ear, left ear, both together. And the whole forehead, the crown of the head. the whole front of the body, the whole front of the body. And the back of the head, the back of the neck, Back of the right arm, back of the left arm, both together. Back of the right hand, back of the left hand, both together. The right side of the back, the left side of the back, both sides together. The right buttock, 
the left buttock. And both together. The back of the right thigh. The back of the left thigh. Both together. The right calf. The left calf. Both together. The right sole. The left sole. Both together. And the whole back of the body. The whole back of the body. The whole right side of the body. The whole left side of the body. Both sides together. The whole front of the body. The whole back of your body. Both sides together. And resting here for a few more breaths. Feeling the whole body together. If you feel a deep need to stay right where you are a little while longer, please do so. If you feel like resting a hand to the belly and a hand to the chest, feel free. I invite you to offer yourself some sweetness here, a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation just for you. slowly releasing those hands. So this is where I'll leave you. Again, feel free to stay where you are for as long as you wish. And when you are ready to move, moving slowly and being gentle with yourself. Thank you so much for joining me today. As usual, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us at the Everyday Counts program. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.